Hey guys, to celebrate the 25th anniversary of Magic the Gathering, we have the lowest quality cards ever. And these premium cards, quotation marks, have deteriorated in quality. I'm going to show you an example here. You have from Urza's Legacy. Was this Urza's Legacy? Uh, Urza's Destiny. And it was one of the first foils ever made. And it lies flat. 19 years was when it was printed. And now it's totally playable. It doesn't curve. The foiling process was new at the time. And yet, it looks a lot better than today. So let's take a look at a non-foil from 25 years ago and see if that has any damage or any curling. So the non-foil we're going to look at is the rats, the plague rats. And it looks pretty good for a card in beta. Is it alpha or beta? It's 25 years ago. And it doesn't... You can take a look at it. It looks as pristine as it came out 25 years ago. With better technology, improvements in printing techniques perhaps, we would expect to get better cards. Uh, so this is an alpha common, as old as you can get. The card has been played many times. It's been left out in the hot and cold, thrown in a backpack, played on sleeve, and still it lies flat. Now, what about a card printed 10 minutes ago or a card opened 10 minutes ago? What does that kind of look like? Well, it doesn't look as good as the first foil and it does not look as good as the Plague Rats from Alpha. You can see this is a card someone opened 10 minutes ago. So what are you telling me? Are you telling me that the foils and the alpha cards, the how did the card stock, card quality get worse when you had more money? Alpha was Richard Garfield and Wizard of the Coast before he came Hasbro. These are brand new cards from Masters 25 and look at them. I mean, just look at them. They cost more per pack than any card in the history of Magic for a regular set. And yet the foil is comes out damaged, miscut. It's unplayable. You can't even sleeve these things and play them because then you would be accused of cheating, which has happened before. The point I'm trying to make is as long as customers are still willing to support it, and I have a very devastating video on Monday. I'm assuming this video goes up Sunday. I know exactly what the problem is. It's super simple. The problem is that they're not making a card game anymore. They're making a social movement. And they're putting all their focus on social movement and they're not caring about Richard Garfield with very little income with very little I mean he doesn't have a company like Hasbro he doesn't have a printing company he made this card game with just a concept and a few hundred dollars and the cards look better then and survive better then without sleeves by the way we didn't have this huge economy where the biggest content creator just talks about sleeves and deck boxes and binders all the time. Like how many of these things exist? Like it's like infinite. You didn't have that industry. The reason is very simple. They're hiring investigators. They are hire who are working 24 seven, which I'll have another video on that later this week of what an investigator actually is supposed to do. I'm assuming they get paid because they're expected to work 24 hours a day. And we have all of this blah, 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 blah. The social climate in North America and the US especially with Donald Trump as our president is very, very, people don't like each other. Uh, people are not kind to each other anymore. 
and I wish they would be more so, all you have to do is take a look at the Reddit and you can see. But just make cardboard. That's all. I'm assuming this is a fetch land. Um, I don't know what this card is, but it was right out of a pack. The edges look frailed. These are right out of the pack. They look water damaged. That's exactly what a water damage card feels, looks, and becomes. How can this be the case where a, a random dude and a few buddies can create our card game and have better card stock and have it last 25 years and for an anniversary set, we still have cards that are coming out damaged, cards that are coming out miscut, cards that are, for a lack of a better word, unplayable. Unplayable would be, you know, it's, and people accept it. People accept it because they want to join the social movement and they want to be very liberal and they want to be all about the representation and the story and the lore and you know a good story is good story i grew up with the weatherlight crew and i didn't think that sisay was awesome because she was a woman she was just pretty kick-ass she was the captain yeah the captain should be pretty awesome and i didn't think hannah was, I, hannah was one of my favorite characters she's like oh cool artifacts nice mary you know everyone was a big fan of her gerard jared or whatever his name was he was my least favorite character and my favorite story was kovac's and Selena, Dark Angel. That was my favorite story. We didn't need to push, 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 push because it just naturally came about. Oh, cool. Strong female characters. Awesome. Oh, strong minority characters. Great. And one of the most popular sets was the uh, Portal Free Kingdom, right? That's a pretty Asian set, I would say. Um, outside that, there's not many Asian representations, which I'm going to get into in the Monday video. But we liked the game. The card stock was good. The card quality was good. We didn't even use sleeves back in the day. We didn't have all these uh, options for sleeves, metal deck boxes that if you shoot a, a rifle into it, it won't affect your deck. You know, tracking stuff, tracking little trackers, because magic cards weren't valuable back in the day. They weren't. So why would we need to protect them? Now today, I mean, you just look at these pictures and there's no way to justify this except they must assume that their customer base are idiots who keep buying this product, which is literally unplayable. And the more they buy it, the more they're going to not make good product. And that is the simple, if they can save some money, they're going to save some money. You can tell when Magic stopped caring about its core player base. Uh, and you can tell when resources are, you know, they're not hiring for quality assurance, right? They're not, they're hiring for investigators. That is the problem. And the problem stems from all the Reddit likes and, you know, here's, here's a crazy part. The absolute part that makes no sense to me. You don't need to do that. It's naturally going to become that. Like you don't need to push the gate watch. You don't need to push Nissa and Chandra's love story together. You don't need to push like all of this stuff. Society's going probably that way anyway. So you just you can create very appealing, very strong minority and female characters, and you had those characters. You you have always had them. Sarah, right? I mean, Urza blew up her planet, but that was pretty badass. He was like, no, I'm going to take crap from you. you old man, you old white man, right? <laughs> I mean, that was pretty interesting. Um, and even, even the elves and stuff. Like, I remember growing up and one of my favorite cards, I mean, my favorite card was um, Panther Warriors. And I wasn't like, oh, you know, Panther Warriors. I... I wish they had a female Panther Warrior as one of the... No, I was like, okay, no, it was like six free for five. That's pretty powerful. So at the end of the day, they have traded... They have assumed their customers are idiots and they're going to keep buying this product when in fact a better product and a more reliable product, which we didn't need sleeves back in the day, 
was printed a long time ago. What happened, like, it's so, in, 25 years later, we were gifted and a celebration for, you know, supporting a game for so long. We were gifted with a product that literally comes out of the package damage. And no matter what your favorite YouTuber is going to tell you, this is not a good look. And eventually, people will stop buying it because they cannot use it. I don't want to be accused of cheating by playing this card in my deck. But this card, if it is assuming it's a fetch land, I kind of need it in my deck. So what are my options to sell the card? To buy the exact same card at half all, uh, twice the price? I don't know what my options are. Anyway, bye guys.